Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, look, Fish on Forte here. I got something else going on today. I, uh, my old Navionics chip expired. And this one is the uh, 645 Platinum Plus. And I'm gonna upgrade it to this one. They didn't have the 645 Platinum Plus for some reason anymore. So what this is, is the um, entire USA, I guess. Yeah, well, USA East. <clears throat> so it's just the Eastern portion of the USA. Still a Platinum Plus chip. But with this new one, we gotta upload the, uh, the shaded relief and all of that good stuff onto this card to put it in the, uh, in the fish finder. Now, what am I gonna do with this one? I'm gonna put this one in the other Simrad MFD because this still works. It just doesn't have the updated features that this one has. The old Platinum Plus card will be in one MFD and the new Platinum Plus card will be in the other MFD. But let's see how this works right now as far as installing the information that we need onto the, the chip. All right, let's go. Okay guys, before we uh, put the new chip in, it, it says that we have to uh, download an update to the chart installer from Navionics. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> As you can see, it walks you through the process, save, run, enjoy. So before we save anything though, we have to upload the update. Here we go. So it's doing that now. And what we're gonna do is put this new chip in the uh the computer so let's open this while this thing's running comes a little box okay there we go we're done with that let's open the file yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that Okay, welcome to Chart and Start a Wizard. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Next. Setup is now ready and begin to install. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna say yeah. Let it work its magic. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, as you can see, it popped up over here, right there. Okay, setup is finished installing. Okay, good. So we finished. So let's bring this down here so we can see it. Okay, and we're going to click on that and bring it up. All right, so now it's giving us the process here. It's saying, uh, be ready with the card in hand. Roger that. Now, what happens is they send you this card, like you already saw the box here, okay? Then, within that box, there's another box. And within that box, there's our card right there. And we open that up and get the card out. Sorry about that, guys. But here we go. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that. But what we're going to do is do just like it says here. We're ready with our card. Everything's good to go. Okay. We're going to make sure that it's up like this so it's not locked, which ours is. No, it's just like this. We're going to insert that into our computer. Okay. 
So I'm doing that now. Okay, once you update your, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, your installer, you'll get this information. New, improved overlay options. And then you'll read those options. Okay, then you'll say you got it when you got it. And we have it, right? Okay, <clears throat> this is our area. As you can see, that is a huge area. Used, I used to have just this area right in here where my cursor is. If you can see, that was a small area. But now it's, it's much bigger. So what we're going to do, the overlays that we want, select an overlay and use the blue pens to draw the area you want to download. Okay, so we are working with a SimRad. We're working with the NSS series. Okay, we're also working with the uh, Evo 3, which should be compatible. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to go through the process again here. Uh, now it's giving me more options. Look at that. Okay. I want all of that action right there. Okay. I also want relief shading. So we'll do this. So we're going to come down here. And I'm going to go out a little bit more. If I can grab that blue. There we go. About right there. I wish I had more points on it. So you can like, no kidding, cut out this area right here. And just use an area like that. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and run with it. Okay, I want satellite imagery as well. Okay, additional viewing options, update the entire coverage. Okay, 3D is updated. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. Now it's creating a map. Our download process has started. Do not Close or refresh this page. And it's taking a while to download and we'll get back to you after it fully uploads. As well as you can see, uh, my card is active here. As well as the expiration date. And then, of course, I have the, uh, the Navionics on my iPhone and my iPad as well. That's already been updated. All right. Active. And active. All right, let's go see what this looks like on the boat. 
All right, everybody, welcome aboard uh, Fin Chaser. We're gonna fire up the units here. And we're gonna put in the new chip on this one. And we're gonna put the old chip in that one. And we're gonna see what's up, okay? Now the thing is with this uh with these chips, this is the new one. I gotta take this SD card out of the big chip. Okay. So I'm gonna take that out. And there's our micro SD right there. Okay, go ahead and accept. And we're gonna accept and then we're gonna turn the uh <clears throat> the transducer off on this one. Transducer options pause okay because you don't want to burn your transducer up that's why we're going to pause that but we're going to go to uh my bad we're going to go to charts and right now this one doesn't have a chart in it and this one doesn't have a chart in it but let's see what's showing up on here because see how it's different let's see we're going to go to more options chart source Navionics but Navionics isn't in there because I took the chip out so we're gonna go here more options and this is uh, CMAP enhanced see Navionics and see what it says see if it shows the same thing okay and this is 50 feet so we're gonna put it to one nautical mile like the other one so they look the same One nautical mile. And we're gonna go to heading up. Okay. So now they look the same. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is gonna put this new chip in this one. Okay. Just slide it in here. She's in. Good to go. And we're going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to put in the old chip. Remember, we've got to take this chip out of the, uh, the thing there and put this micro SD in this one. Okay, that's the old chip. This is the new one. Okay. Short sources Navionics. <coughs> Short sources Navionics over here as well. Excuse me. Short source Navionics. Short source Navionics. Chart options. Uh, let's see what we have here. Chart options. I'm gonna make them the same, okay? So that says uh, photo overlay full. I'm gonna go to photo overlay full. Okay, they're showing the same information. Transparency, we're going to go to four. So we want them all the same. All the information on both of them. Shading, we're going to click shading. Fishing range, I didn't mess with. Depth safety, six, uh, six feet. Six feet here, six feet. And we'll turn on community edits on both of them. Just for giggles, okay? So now, looking at these, they look pretty much the same, okay? So, <laughs> the only difference with this is, let's go here. That's the Noose River. So we'll go out towards the ocean here. Okay. So now, We'll go out the inlet, okay? So that's the inlet there. We're gonna do the same thing on this one. Okay. And there's the inlet there. Okay, that's 0.1 nautical miles. Wow, 
0.1 nautical miles. There we go. So, they are about the same. This is the new one. This is the old one. Okay, I'm not seeing any new updates so far on here. You know what? Let's see. They do have, I'm looking here, and I guess they did go over this a little bit more. They have structure right there at Northwest Places. Let's go to Northwest Places over here and see what we get. There's nothing. There we go. So, this is the old Northwest places here. So I can see I got one, couple little dots here. That's a uh, big 10, little 10. Here's big 10, little 10 here. But as you can see, I have more coverage here, a little more detailed than here. All right, both of them are 0.5 nautical miles. So, the information on here <coughs> is updated a little bit more. So that's good. But now I have two of these. So, you know, if this one goes out, I still have this one. It's not as good as the other one but it still works well. This one still works well. This one's just better because it's been updated. And I'll continue to update this one throughout the year. So if there's any other issues like this that come up uh, that are better, you know, that's a better area than this. Cause that's not showing up on here. We'll see what it looks like at the end of the year compared to what this one looks like. All right, fish on viewers, you gotta excuse me because I got a little bit of a cold I'm trying to get over, but I'm trying to help you guys out when it comes to the uh, Navionics Platinum Plus, and this is for Simrad. So would I get the uh, update if my other one has already expired? And right now I'm saying yes, I will get the update. I wanna ensure I get the update. Now you don't have to get the update every year. You can get it, excuse me. <coughs> you can get it every other year. So, you know, you, you won't miss out on your updates. If you have the old system like I had, the old chip, that chip still works fine. You know, it just can't do all the updating that the new chip can. The old chip cannot be updated anymore after that year expires. You have to get another updated chip, okay? That's what I found out anyway. If you know anything different, let me know because I thought I could update the old chip, but that wasn't the case, all right? Okay, fish on viewers, I'm gonna get in here, <coughs> excuse me, trying to deal with what I'm dealing with here. Hope you all are feeling well, and I hope you can get out there and catch them up. And until next time, fish on forte.